So in this video, I will go over the format of the orals for the EDUCAS uh, board. Um, I'm just taking the health theme um, for the whole of this, whereas in the real exam, you'll have a variety of themes. So there are three sections in total. Firstly, you have a role play, which lasts around two minutes. It could last a little bit less than that, depending on how quickly you get through it. Then you have a photo card, which lasts for two minutes if you're on foundation and three minutes if you're doing higher. Again, you may finish that quicker. Then there's a conversation part, which is three to five minutes if you're doing foundation and five to seven minutes if you're doing higher. Um, and that will be based on two topics, but we'll look at that in a minute. Um, so in total, if you're doing foundation, it's seven to nine minutes. And if you're doing higher, it's around 10 to 12 minutes. Now, when you come for the oral, when you go for the oral, you get um, given the exam papers, the cards that you'll have all of the oral information on. Um, and we'll see sort of examples of those in a minute. Um, and you have 12 minutes to prepare all of that. You can't write on the cards, but you have paper and you can write notes. Um, and those notes you can use in the exam. Um, but you're not allowed to write in sentences. So it's just words that, uh, that flow. So it gives you a kind of um, uh, something to jog your memory. OK, so the first part, as we said, is the role play. So this is an example of a possible role play on the health on the health topic. And you'll be given this It will be on a card uh, when you go to do your preparation. Um, and it always starts with a little bit of introduction. So estás hablando del deporte con tu amigo o amiga, español o española. Um, so you're talking with uh, talking about sport with your friend. Um, tu profesor es oh, el amigo o la amiga y habla primero. So your teacher is the friend and speaks uh, speaks first. Now, in the majority of the role plays, the teacher always speaks first. So has the first question, for example. But there are occasions when it might say tu hablas primero, meaning that you speak first. OK, so you just need to make sure you look on the role play who's doing the first part. OK, so you will have this on your card. So, un deporte ayer, un detalle, a sport, yesterday, one detail, opinión del fútbol, dos detalles, opinion of football, and two details, mañana, tomorrow, deporte, sport, dos detalles, two details, comer sanamente, with a question mark, and then you've got an exclamation mark. So, if you see a question mark, it means that you have to form a question, so you have to ask a question of the examiner who will be your teacher. Um, and then when there's an exclamation mark, it means there'll be another question that you won't have had time to, you won't have had um, to be pre to prepare for before you go into the exam. So it'll be kind of like a surprise question. Um, for the role play, just stick to exactly what it says on, on the sheet. So don't expand. For, so for it said, where it says a deport, sport yesterday, one detail, you can just say, I play tennis yesterday. And that's enough. OK, opinion on football. You might say, I like football because it's fun. And there's your two details. Tomorrow on sport, you could say, I'm going to play tennis with my friends. Uh, and that's two, two details. Or with my friends in the park, perhaps that might cover two details. Eating healthily, so comer sanamente. It might be, uh, what do you do to eat healthily, for example? If you can try and avoid the words that are in this bit here, then that's always quite good because you're kind of moving away from what it tells you on the role play, um, but still sticking with the same um, questions. So comer sanamente, it could be what do you think about fast food, for example, that could be linked. And then obviously you've got this question that you need to listen out for. Literally for this one, you almost don't need to hear, you don't need to listen to what I'm saying. You just know when I, when the teacher stops, then you move on to the next part, apart from where it comes to this question here. So if we look at, well, so just to remind you then, so if there's a question mark, you have to ask a question. And if there's an exclamation mark, you need to respond to an unseen question. So this is what I'll see as a teacher. So it'll be the introduction, for example. And then before you start about your sport yesterday, I'd say, hola, que deporte hiciste ayer? So it gives you an introduction to you talking about sports yesterday. Then I'll go, vale, cuál es tu opinión del deporte? OK, um, I'm responding to whatever you say. And what's your uh, opinion on sport? You give me your opinion and I say, well, I don't like sport. I mean, no me gusta. Uh, ¿Qué planes tienes para mañana? What plans do you have for tomorrow? So this is where you mention your sport uh, tomorrow. And I just say, muy bien. 
Um, and then you have to ask your question. So as I said, you could say something like, te gusta comer la ensalada, for example. Piensas que comes sanamente? Do you think you eat healthily? Que comes para estar sano? What do you eat to be healthy? So, and then I would answer the question, and then I would give you your surprise questions. In this case, que comes para mantenerte en forma? What do you eat to keep fit? And then you'd answer, and then we'd say, gracias, hazlo. So then we move on to the next one, okay? So the next one's a photo card. So you get a card with a picture on it, and that gives you the idea of the theme. It'll also say what a theme it is. I haven't put that here, but it'll say the theme. So there are three themes, and we'll see that on the conversation. So it, and your, on your card, you'll have two of the questions, and there's four in total, okay? So the first one is always, ¿de qué trata esta foto? Or describe la foto, one or the other. So what is this photo about? Or describe the photo. Now, if you have a look at the oral tip sheet that I've given you, then you'll be able to go through that and uh, see what sorts of things you could say describing the photo. They do like you to talk about the theme as well, so if you mention that. Now, this one, unlike in the role play, this one, you can expand on a little bit and use different tenses. And then you'll have another question you'll see. In this case, ¿Cuáles son los aspectos negativos de no comer bien? So what are the negative aspects of not eating well? So you need to think about what sort of things you could say there. Again, think about whether you can get some tenses in there. So it used to be that um, people never thought about uh, the fat content of hamburgers, but now they do because it leads to cancer, for example, or obesity. And then you need to think about the other two. So there'll be two more questions that you won't be able to prepare beforehand, but you need to think about it. Now, there is a format to them, which we'll just have a look at. So let's bring these up. So this is what I will say to start with. I'll just say it's literally what it says on here. And again, literally what it says on here as well. I can rephrase these questions a little bit, um, unlike where you've got the ones in the role play. So. In order, then, we have the first one, which is describing. The second one, we never know what the question is going to be. The third one is always a statement followed by, do you agree? And you should start with, I agree or I disagree. So in this case, it's, pienso que los jóvenes no hacen suficiente deporte. I think that young people don't do sufficient sport or enough sport. Do you agree? Okay, so you'd say, yes, I agree, because they don't have time and they have too many exams and they're too stressed, for example. Um, and then the last one also is something that we can predict. It's always a sentence with a conditional. So would, could, should. So in this case, I've put, what should you do to improve the health of people, in your opinion? ¿Qué se debería hacer para mejorar la salud de la gente, en tu opinión? Okay, so you could mention something like, something like we should make gyms free for everybody or people or there should be discounts on going to the swimming pool or something like that. Okay, but it is important that you try and expand if you can into the tenses, right? Um, because that's what they're expecting you to do. Some of them lead you into tenses and some of them don't. So that's the photo card. So those are the first two parts of your exam. I said, when you get to the exam, you'll get this bit here, and then you'll have to think about those other two, uh, two types of questions. In the textbook, I don't know why, but there's always five, um, which is not exactly what it's like in the exam, but it does give you some ideas of sorts of questions that might be asked. Okay, let's move on to the last section then. So the last section is a conversation, okay? Now you have a list of possible questions which I've already sent to you, and they're broadly spread amongst three main themes, identity, culture, local, national, international, and global areas of interest, which is very wide, current and future study and employment. Um, and then within those, there's sort of sub 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 uh, topic so under uh, identity and culture there's bits about culture there's bits about like free time there's a bit about sports there's a bit about eating for example so they're based on those three 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 theme, themes now you can choose one of these broad themes that you know will come up in the exam so you know that uh, if you choose identity and culture you know questions from that section uh, will come up OK, and then when I'm doing the exam, the board gives me a choice of two others. So it might be one you've already chosen. So that means I've only got one possible uh, option or it might be two different ones. Now, what we have to do as examiners is we can't cover any of the themes that are already in the role play in the photo card. Now, from this video, I've just done um, top the topic of health. OK, but in the exam, you will have different topics. So you might have the role play on health. You might have the photo card on work and then the conversation possibly topics would then be on this middle one here as a possible one for me. But that might be one you've chosen. So we have to little think. So 
Um, and also, if you if we've covered these themes in, so if we've covered sport in the role play, for example, and in your chosen topic is identity and culture, and in that section there are sport questions, I would avoid those questions and then give you questions to do with free time and food. Okay, so that's kind of what I put in here. So sport in is sports in the role play, then I'd need to cover theme one and culture and food. So I'd need to just do those questions and avoid the sport ones because we've got to do a range of questions. If you're not sure about what I mean by that, then let me know and I'll go through it again or I'll put another video up. We've got to spend equal time on two topics. So equal time on the topic you've chosen and equal time on the topic uh, that the board has said I've got to go through with you, okay? It's really important in this one that you expand, that you use tenses and that you talk and not not the teacher, okay? Or not the examiner, in this case, it would be me. Um, because you've got, the more you speak, the more you expand, the more you go on, um, the more points you can score for that or the better the fluidity of what you're saying says. So if I say, um, do you like playing tennis, for example, and you just say, yes, that's not enough. If you said, yes, I do like playing tennis, but when I was younger, I didn't used to like playing tennis because my brother always won, um, but now I'm as good as him. So that would be an expansion there. And also I've got a tense there that, that we're doing it. So when you're preparing your possible questions, it's always good to have a little bit more detail in there and a couple of tenses in each one, okay? Right, so hopefully that's okay. If you've got any questions, just ask or post it down at the bottom uh, of this video.